everyone this is doom breaker and welcome to another tutorial on visual basic this tutorial we are going to do key presses so um, what is a key press you might ask a key press is when you press a key down something happens in your program so what we are going to learn today is how to register them and make your program react to them so um, this is something I searched for a lot when I started programming in visual basic I found many solutions, none of which worked, and now I will provide you with the solution that will work 100% of the time. So let's go to coding. So what we need to start is a label, uh, I call this label label1, and a timer called timer1. So the timer interval is 1, you can set it to 102, but I prefer to use 1. Um, and then a label uh, which says key A is pressed the visibility on this label is uh, set to false because we don't want the label to be visible when it's not pressed so the way we are going to do this is with key codes um, key codes are codes that are bound to a key on your keyboard so every key on your keyboard has a key code. Key codes are used to um, to tell a computer what key you want to use. So I'll be linking a uh, page in the description where there is a list of all possible key codes that you might need. So pretty handy, I use it myself but uh, let's get to coding so the first thing you want to do is go to public class form 1 and right beneath it type this so private declare function get a sync key state now beware of this word the G the A the K and the S needs to be a capital letter. All the others don't. That's the reason why I had to record this video about five times. So beware of this. I'm also going to post a link in the description with this code. So uh, you don't have to type it yourself. But if you really want to type it yourself, it is something you need to pay attention to. So then we type lib user32 open brackets by val v key as sh uh, no not short integer then as short so um this is because we are using the .NET Framework 4. If you are using the .NET Framework 3.5 or lower, the integer must be a long and the short must be an integer. So that's something you should note. Then in the form load, we are obviously going to type timer1.start, which is pretty basic. And then in the timer tick, we are going to put an if statement if get the sync key state and now we don't have to type it you can just double click it uh, open brackets then the key code 65 and also put that whole thing in brackets uh, then label 1 is going to be visible else label 1 is not going to vis be visible and I need to type false here and true here. So if we go and debug it, every time I press A, it shows key A is pressed. If I press set, nothing happens. A. And even if I if I'm not in the window, so um, let's open fraps here. So I'm now currently in fraps press A nothing happens 
Okay, sorry guys, I had to uh, take a little break because there was some sort of bug. But uh, as you can see, when I'm in um, Google Chrome, so I'll click it a couple of times to be sure that I'm focused on Google Chrome, and I press A, it says key A is pressed. Now um, you can open Fraps and then press A, nothing will happen. That's when keyboard hooks come in. Uh, keyboard hooks are small programs that unfortunately you need to pay for and uh, those will help you uh, to register a key press when you need it so that's a little downside to it but uh, I guess you are going to use the auto typer for um, not for fraps so um, it should work works like a charm so um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye